what's up everyone I got a pretty badass video for you guys today uh, it's actually uh, I'm gonna be comparing two products on the Colorado all-weather floor mats check them out so right here on the floor you can see I got the GM ones and here I got the last fit ones all right full disclosure last fit did send me these floor mats all right they want me to try them out want me to review them and this is a no BS review I told them I'm not gonna take it easy on them if I like them I like them if I don't I don't stay tuned for the end of the video see if I like them or not all right let's go the product sponsor for this video is extrusion overland visit extrusionoverland.com for all your modular bed rack and cargo solution needs hey guys so if you guys are in the market to purchase some all-weather floor mats I am pretty sure you guys want something that's durable something that is not gonna curl up on you after about say one month you know it's gonna be in the heat and I believe it's uh, the Husky brand that they feel cool when you get them but you install them in about a month or two months later you start to see the edges start to curl they do this crazy thing whatnot right and at the same time you see your manufacturer provided uh, all-weather mats in my case GM right I got this uh, the set of GM floor mats all weather for the front of the ZR2 and I love them they're awesome why because they're a perfect fit from the manufacturer but when I looked at the last fit ones I'm not gonna lie I did see them before I got the ZR2 ones but I was afraid about the quality right so I said F it I'm just gonna buy the front of the ZR2 ones for now for about I think it was like 130 bucks and later on I'll get the rear because I really use the rear of the truck so I got them all right fast forward to just about a few weeks ago last we reached out they said hey we have some all-weather floor mats for your truck we'd like to send you a set in return for a review so that's my disclosure all right I said hey why not let's do it all right what's the worst that could happen so they sent me this set right here guys let me show you as you can see I got the front right there along with the fronts of the ZR2 with the GM brand right little bow tie so those two were 130 bucks this whole set for the front and the rear is $130 on last fit, but you get a discount. I'll show you how later. All right, so when you go ahead and uh, compare these two, you feel them. They feel nice and durable, right? That's a GM brand. You feel these, and if you were to blindfold me, I would say it's the exact same product, guys. It feels the same, it weighs about the same, and the bottom, you can see how it's uh, it's not just flat, right? It's not something that they just said, hey, let's just focus on the top design. They actually went out of their way to design the bottom with a purpose, I guess. And the rear, same type of material. All right, so again, if you were to blindfold me, I would not be able to tell you which one is which unless I felt the bow tie, right? And my only uh, irk I have right now is this logo right here, Last Fit. I think they should have kept it a little more subtle black perhaps but that's just me all right guys so right now uh, i'm going to show you guys how to put these on super simple they snap right in the front the driver's side just how you see these two buttons here it's got them right there but you don't see the top button which is kind of cool you know it's uh you get less dirt in there but it still snaps in from the bottom all right so let's go ahead and put these on real quick all right don't mind me just using one hand here guys but it's super easy with one hand i could do it you could do it and these are dirty because I have been using them for about two, three weeks now. Because if I'm going to review these products, I'm not just going to review them the day of, right? I want to make sure that I could use them and abuse them, if you know what I mean. That way you guys get a good, honest review. All right, so I'm doing this with one hand or so. So that makes it seem like I'm struggling. But there you go. Snap right in. All right, let me turn my little light on here. Show you guys just how tight this fit is. Look at that, everything is laser cut. I guess it's like a 3D scanner or something. And again, keep in mind, I have been using this for a while now. And there's no curling. Temperatures out here where I'm at have reached about 100, 105 degrees summertime. Possibly a lot hotter in here because it's a truck, right? It's a vehicle. Temperatures are a lot hotter inside vehicles. So let's go ahead and get this passenger side on now. Same thing, just disregard my uh, one-handedness here. You guys see how awesome the passenger side fits as well. 
again. Laser cut. Light light on again. No curling. All right, gonna get the back one on. This one does give me a little bit more resistance because there's two sides. You kind of have to go in from one side, then go through the back. Go through the back and do the other side. Go back and forth. All that good stuff. But if I could do it one hand, like I said, you guys could do it with two. And I think my favorite part about these is honestly the back mat because they fit way better than the OEM ones from GM. If you guys go to the GM website, you're gonna see that the mat covered surface area is not as much compared to these, all right? So I don't know if you guys wanna pause the video, go look at it right now, or do that after the video if you wanna compare them. But, sorry, it's my dog barking. I think last bit really went out of their way to provide as much coverage as possible. Look at this, again. Look how tight that is, guys. Just tuck this in a bit here. But look at that. Again, I challenge you guys, go over to the GM website. Look at the ones they have there. It's like you can see all the gaps and everything on the edges that you don't get as much coverage as you do with these right here. You know, I'm really freaking satisfied with these. Last bit, you dodged the bullet. You guys did a good job. Let me show you this side. Precision cut. Beautiful. Look at that. And these right here, I don't know, I'm probably gonna use them as a backup or something. I really do like the fact that they have the Chevy bow tie. You know, and the other ones have that Last Fit logo. Last Fit, you guys gotta change up your logo, at least come up with a logo, all right? Make it look nice. But yeah, these are gonna go in storage, all right? And when you guys also, when you get the, uh, the Last Fit ones, they come in a nice big box. The only ones that are folded are the back ones are folded in half long ways. And when you fold these, they don't conform to that shape. They're pretty resilient. Once you lay them flat, they're gonna stay flat, all right? And I was just on the website right now just to get some, uh, I guess, comparison uh, price point. The GM ones, if you were to buy the full set, all right, front and back, not with the chrome bow tie, just the regular cheap little uh, front and back ones for the Colorado crew cab, you're looking to spend about 180 to 190 dollars before taxes, all right? WeatherTech, similarly priced for front and rear. Last fit, about $130, guys, before the discount. You guys want a discount on these? Most of the time, Last Fit is holding a discount on their website. I think right now, as of this video, they have like a Labor Day uh, promotion, 15% off. But if you happen to be watching this video and there are no discounts available, use discount code MOB15 at checkout, all right? It's gonna be cheaper for you guys. Get a little bit of a discount from the already cheap price that they're priced at all right guys so that's just me sharing with you guys this review i like these things they're freaking awesome last fit thank you for sending these in and hopefully we see you guys you know order these and save a little bit of money especially in this economy right now all right so that's definitely a huge plus you know yeah 200 bucks is not going to break the bank but if i could save about 70 bucks shit dude that's about a quarter gas tank or not a quarter three quarters of a fuel tank on this thing <laughs> right using diesel trucks so that's that guys that's my review thank you for watching i know it's a short video but i will try and come up with a longer video hopefully outdoors next time around all right guys take it easy